Hello and welcome. This is a demo of how HCL Accelerate can add value to an existing Microsoft Azure DevOps pipeline. If you haven't already, I recommend watching our other videos on how HCL Accelerate integrates with existing tool chains and adds governance and oversight to the entire software delivery process. Accelerate uses data-driven analytics to link information from all of the tools in your tool chain. This demonstration will also link results from AppScan on Cloud, an application security tool to be used for governance and reporting in your software delivery process. So to start, we're going to create a new work item. This is going to be a task, it can be anything. I'm going to call it HCL Accelerate, HCL Accelerate and AppScan integration. So you can see this is task work item 33. I'm going to assign myself, save that, and set it to the active state. Now, if I go back to HCL Accelerate, I will see this new dot that I just created is going to move and show up in the active phase. So you can see there's seven right now, and now there's eight. So if I click on this circle, I can see there's my new work item, number 33. And clicking on that will link me back to Azure DevOps. Now I'm going to actually go and make a code change which I can then create a pull request for and merge that into master. And we'll see how this work gets linked uh, across Accelerate and as it moves and starts the, the build and deployment processes. So I'm just gonna create the name here for the branch, work item 33. I'll go ahead and link the item in Azure DevOps as well. and commit that. And now here I'm going to create the pull request. Now that the pull request is created, if I go back to Accelerate, I should see the item move from the active phase into the in review phase. There you can see my little orange dot here is now in review. So if I click on that, I can see there's the pull request linked to the work item from my Accelerate view. If I click the pull request, it'll take me directly to Azure DevOps. And here I can complete the merge. So this is gonna merge the code change into master, which is then gonna start my build process. If I go over to my pipelines, I can see here's the build for my little application. And now you see the dot moved from in review into merged. Just clicking on that, I can actually go down here and see that the build is running from within Accelerate. So if I click on the build, It'll take me to that pipeline job where I can see, okay, on the left side here, the step started. I did my build and now it's actually running an app scan security analysis of the static code. So jumping over here, I can actually see in app scan on cloud that my scan is running for this new build. And if I go back here, I will just wait for that scan to complete. And now if I pull up all three of these windows at once, you can actually see how each of the tools is doing its own thing while we wait for the scan to complete. I can see that Azure DevOps is actually showing it running where it was kicked off. I can see in AppScan on Cloud where the scan is actually running and analyzing the IRX file. And then finally at the bottom, I can see the accelerate value stream where you get the spinny circle that shows that the build is running as well. Now finally, once this scan actually completes, 
the next step is going to go ahead and deploy whatever the code change was into my development environment and then we're going to publish the scan results to accelerate so you can see there the app scan is complete in app the scan is complete in app scan we will see the item move from when it was merged it'll actually jump straight over to the dev because the build and the deployment happened in a, roughly the same time And so now that I've applied my app scan results to my value stream, I can see by clicking on the dot here at the top level, this is the work item from Microsoft Azure DevOps. I can see the related pull requests. I can see the history of how it changed. And I can see the static results that came in from the scan. So from that, I can do things like create governance, create notifications, decide whether or not I can promote this particular work item into the next level environment, whether that be a, a testing environment or production environment. Uh, this really gives you that control and the connected data to, to draw these conclusions and give you that visibility and governance. So finally, I'm gonna jump over to the insights view where I've created a dashboard of my little uh, application that I've been deploying here through Azure DevOps. You can see I can I can see all of my application vulnerabilities as they've changed over time. I could change this to be by a different time period, 30 days, 90 days, how I want to group it. And if I click the magnifying glass, it'll take me directly into the data here. So I can see if I scroll down a little bit, there's my Accelerate, App Scan, and Azure application that I was deploying. I can see these are the four times I ran it. There's my most recent build. How many of vulnerabilities did I discover? And of course, we'll always link back to the, the tools that we're integrating with there. So if clicking that will bring me directly to the build within Azure DevOps. So with that, thank you for watching and have a great day.